super compact. Super compact, yes. This will fit in the glove box. Take a good look at it. Nice. This one got three R RCAs. So rear, front, subwoofer. Great, 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 great. Because we are installing a amp for the door speaker, so this would be perfect. So first thing first, we gotta get this apart. Hopefully, I don't have to take the whole dash apart. I shouldn't have. I should just be able to pop that face off and then, uh, yeah, pop this thing out with the tools. Right, finally got this thing out. Had to take a little break right quick, but I'm back. Had to grab two butter knives as well, cause uh, yeah, didn't have any special tools, so. So since it got dark on me, what I'm going to be doing is extending these wires, these wires that go to the back of the radio, and just wrapping them up, just wrapping them up nice and tight. I'm probably put about one and a half, maybe two feet so that it can extend from the glove box uh, to exactly where the original stereo was, and yeah, we should be all good. So let me get to work. Here is the aftermath. Let's take a look at it. He shrinks. And I just hope these cords are long enough. I did two feet. Probably not be long enough. The next day. All right, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Looks like we got some butt connectors here on this old harness. Also see, looks like this is a RCA wire that's connected here. To that antenna hmm. so what I think I'm going to do I'm not gonna undo these butt connectors dang look like there's more connectors right here as well I think I'm gonna splice like down here I'm gonna splice down here and then add this light from right here definitely should be enough to run from over here to here now this is another dilemma Man, this is thick. I mean, I got something to cut it, but this is definitely thick. And also inside here, it doesn't go straight over because we got the vents right here. And support for the vent. So it's like, man, I'm gonna have to try to run it up and over this vent. Maybe grab like a clothes hanger or something like that. And pull it, pull it through to bring it in over there. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, but it's gonna be probably gonna be a nice size hole right here to get all the wires through. All right, guys, wish me luck. Oh, and I'm also need extenders because I don't think this is this might not be. I mean, it might be long enough to, to go over. Yeah, this this I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna need extenders. RCA extenders, but I at least want to wire this up to at least attempt to get the radio on. So let me start with that now. All right, so we got everything zipped up. Now I didn't, I just put the heat shrink over them. I didn't melt them yet, but everything is all to go, all the wires. So we're going to plug this up just to make sure that the CD player works. All right, guys, so the battery is back connected. I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna start. Turn these off. So you know we got that weak alternator. That's another thing, man. I'm doing this on a weak alternator, y'all. Weak alternator. Let's hope this thing start up. Woo. Okay, we started. So let's plug in this. Old mess over here, y'all. All right, so we plugged in up here. Got upside down, but it does turn on. Yeah, there we go, English. 
Yes, English. Cancel demo. Press volume knob. Cancel demo. No, yes. Demo mode. Bluetooth. Go phone connection. Give me a second, y'all. I need to shut the door and I'm working with two hands, so just give me a sec, y'all. Just give me a sec. Set this down right here. RCA wires, so we don't want no RCAs hooked up because we don't really need the subs until I get the new alternator. But cool, we're playing. All right, so we got it paired. I got it paired Bluetooth, um, not Bluetooth, but USB does work. See that? That kind of image is powerful. Yes, sir. It yes, helps sir. To... So that's success there. Let me try the Bluetooth. Oh, look, that's dope. Pop right on up. Pairing. Let's pair. Pairing. Let's get it paired up. Paired up. Press volume knob. Okay. All right. So it looks like I got to download an app. I gotta download the Kenwood Remote app. Okay, so let's download that. All right, so the app downloaded, failed to connect. Here, unit, please restart. All right, let's try to restart this. Alright guys, we figured it out, we figured it out, we figured it out. It plays, it plays, it plays. Yes, yes, yes. Bluetooth, Bluetooth. I had to talk over because you know Jay-Z is definitely copyright. You. So what I had to do was I had to hit the SRC go to Bluetooth audio. And once I went to Bluetooth audio, no, I'll cut it off. Went to Bluetooth audio and then uh then it asked me to pay. Red, and then it pad and then it came right back on. Yep, and I can rock with YouTube. Yep, yep, yep. And since it is Bluetooth, you control all the volume right through your phone. So, faster it. If there's a skill that. Yep, yep, yep. Now it also had an app. It had an app, and it, and it, and it asked me to download Alexa. I download Alexa, but it had like a Kenwood app as well. But I couldn't get the accessory to pop up. I couldn't get this part to work. Maybe it'll work now. Is it on? Yeah, okay. 
okay so cool 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 that's dope that's dope that's dope so we got the Kenwood app as well just to pull up the media player nice 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 so everything that's already downloaded on your phone you're able to have access to that so that, that's a cool feature as well but you know if you like me and you're not playing anything that's on your playlist you just search for random YouTube or uh, let me see title let's try to check out title and see if title works So next thing we got to do is, my bad y'all, so I got to cut a hole in here, in here, so I don't think I'm going to cut a hole through, y'all can't see in here, let me see if I can flash a, a light in here, okay, so yeah, I got to cut a hole through the glove box, if y'all can see, can y'all see, yeah, so right, right there, that's the vent, can you see it? So it gotta go up and over the vent into the glove box. So this is gonna be a tricky one. I try to tackle that right now. Audio store isn't open, so I'm not able to get RCA adapters and another set of RCAs to extend it. But I'm gonna try to button everything up. So that's the only thing I gotta do. Once the store opens, so let's get to it. And just like that, we got it all hooked up. So what I had to do was. You see this hole right here? I took a electric hacksaw and cut a hole right through there. It's not the best, but it'll do for now. And then I took a wire, wire hanger, and just ran it through. Ran it through, hooked it up, ran it through there over top of the vent, and just pulled everything through. And the RCA wires, they were able to come through as well. They were long enough, so that's cool. I don't need an adapter for that. I may need an adapter for the FM transmitter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need an adapter for that still. But everything hooked up and works. You got to look into the past. Nice yes. and clear. You got to look around. Yes. Turn it up. But one of the most important places you have to yep, look. Yep, 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 yep. Boom. So that's how we are. That's how we are. I still got to work on this because I wasn't able to get this shut. Even with this out of there, I wasn't able to get this shut. So it's something I got to bring up for there. But now we got to attack the OEM stereo. Fit that thing right back up in there. So give me a second. I'll be right back. And just like that, there we have it, guys. The OEM stereo is back in its place. Glove box radio is back in its place where it needs to be right in the glove box so you want to be sure if you're doing a glove box install try to get a bluetooth radio they're normally a little smaller a little bit more compact i've seen people been able to do it with the regular stereos but sometimes your glove box is not wide enough and you would have to cut a hole throughout the back so you got to keep that in mind as well sometimes you're able to cut just a hole in the side like i did because mine's is plastic and i couldn't remove it Depending on your vehicle, you may be able to take the whole compartment out and work on it that way. I believe the cut, the little small cut behind is probably a lot cleaner. But as you can see, I didn't have a lot of space to work with inside here as far as cutting. So I just cut a hole throughout the side and just brought the wires back over. But pretty clean, pretty clean, guys. Tell me what you guys think. And also subscribe to the channel so that you can see more content coming to you guys pretty soon. All right. See you in the next one. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Salute. All right, guys. I figured it out. Figured it out. Figured out how to close this thing. Just got to push a little harder until it snaps. It snapped. All right. Yep. And we have it. We're good. All set.